On Saturday, April 21st, 2018, Honor Flight New England sponsored its 50th Honor Flight, flying U.S. military veterans of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam from Boston to Washington, D.C. to visit and reflect at the nation's major patriotic memorials, including the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, the World War II Memorial, as well as the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery. Among the veterans on the 50th flight was Beverly resident Donald Nino Lombardi, who served in the U.S. Army during the Korean War. All right, we're getting ready to go. We're going to get a police escort. Have a wonderful day. Here we go. All right. <laughs> we're at Logan Airport, everybody's got their backpacks and their jackets, right? Cameras. All right, very good. What do you think, Nino? You're beautiful. I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a great trip today. What would you think, Nino? What would you think of your reception here? Beautiful. It gets right to your heart. There are a lot of lovely people. And boy, the next morning, we should have seen the people giving me the eye. Probably by eight days. Yeah, I saw it in Greenbrook when I was at Donald's. You know, you came from Blackbird. So when we, uh, what did you say, Neil? When you get off the plane, you take a bus. Yeah, we'll we'll be on a bus, and then they'll take us to all our different places. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we'll, right to Washington, we take a bus. So. Yeah. Momento coming around and 
Oh, look at this. Fantastic. Thank you. for the New England Honor Flight from Boston, Massachusetts, carrying veterans from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. All right. And you guys were at Camp, Camp Rucker, Rucker, Alabama, 1950. At the same time? Yep. And did you know each other? No, we didn't know each other, but we're Korean veterans. And you, uh, Camp Rucker, what year was that? 1950, Camp Rucker, 1950, Camp Rucker, Alabama. Unbelievable, and you just met each other again for the first time? Okay, I got him, I got him. Ted Sturgewall. So what do you think so far, Nino? Oh, it's, uh, it's speechless, it's beautiful. We're just so lucky that we have the freedom and the main thing is everybody's full of love here today. The weather's beautiful, the monuments are all, no problem to get in and out, they're all free. And uh, the volunteers are out of this, oh, they can help you so much, you can't believe that some people pay, take time to volunteer for the veterans, you know? Come through here yeah. um, on a Saturday, so we come out here and because Swing dancing is part of the World War II era, then we're part of the living history of, of the memorial. Now, do you work for the Park Service or how? No, uh, no, we're just volunteers. Volunteers? Yeah, I'm actually retired Army. Yeah, and, and but you live in the Washington I area here? in uh, Fairfax, Virginia, uh -huh. yeah. And you come here, what, how often do you come down? Well, on we weekends? Come, we come here on Saturdays usually when the, a lot of the crowd, and then I'm a guardian on some of the other flights that come in. Oh, you, so yeah. you work for the guardian, you're, you're oh, well, oh so wonderful. That's all my volunteer work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, oh, isn't that wonderful what they do here? So this is the first time that Nino has been in Washington. 200 feet high. 555 to be exact. 555 feet high. Boy, it's a large piece of granite. Give him a big hug. It's got two two pavilions, one commemorating the Atlantic and the other the Pacific Theater. And we're gonna swirl around. So we're gonna go over to Massachusetts now. On the other side. This is the Oh, Alaska, 
It's Arizona. You know we're walking around the game all this day. What's your feeling so far? Oh, feeling loving, beautiful, and warm. And people are so nice to us. I wish more people could come here and see this. You have to be here to appreciate it. It's not looking at a picture, looking at us now. It's no price at all. It's valuable if you ever come to yourself. You just can't believe how much love some people have for this country, the United States. God bless America, I'm telling you. Yeah. Right up there. Yep, that's what that's awesome. Enjoy, folks. Thank you. Can you believe this one? Look at that waterfall. What do you think, Dino? We're in the Second World War Memorial. This is the Lincoln Memorial way across on the other side. Okay, go ahead. This is the Lincoln Memorial. So what do you think, Nino? What I think, a lot of people, after they look at this film that Walter puts together, I guarantee you will want to go to Washington. It's unbelievable, especially in April. Look at the people here. Are you enjoying it? Oh, it's, uh, I'm enjoying it. Oh. So this is the Lincoln Memorial. It's all black marble. And it's Monument. Very, very, very unique. And these were all taken in from photos that were taken in Korea during the war. Don't they have the names on the wall? At Vietnam. Oh, that's in Vietnam. Yeah, um, Congress has approved an addition so the to Korean the war, wall. The Korean War was just a black, black wall. It has faces on it. Oh, I see. a real thing right there. It's just like people are just posing there. But they're all, all just sculpted very well. They're beautiful.
Now this is called the tidal basin. On the right's the Navy Memorial. Supposedly, the water in these fountains is from the, let me think now, the Seven Sea. Okay, and you know we're heading over to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard.
Beautiful, I'm telling you, I can't believe it. Every half, every half an hour, 24 hours a day, they do that. Mm -hmm. They salute to the unknown soldier and his memory for dying for you and I to be able to come here and enjoy ourselves. All these people here kept freedom in the United States, and I salute to them. What a day, I'll tell you, the unknown soldier. Something that you really can see once in your lifetime. Thank you, sir. You can get your children here, I appreciate it. Can't believe that these people sacrificed their lives for us to do this. I do this is because they want to come and buy my painting. Oh, yeah. okay. They have children. Okay. And my wife says, you can't give them candy. Oh. So I go down the beach and I pick out these. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Okay. One last flight. Home sweet home. Here we come. Home sweet home. It's a miracle. God bless America. <laughs> Our journey, what did you think? What did you think of the day? We're in the plane right now, and I want to thank Walter and Beth Camp for having him be able to come and be my chaperone. <laughs> How did you enjoy the day today? How did you like all the monuments? What did you think of the uh, Korean monument? Oh, that's amazing. What a sculpture can do in memory of all the veterans. Yes. And the, and the Washington Memorial, oh, that Washington was a, Monument, That was right? unbelievable. Right? Yep. And I'm so happy. But uh, I have met some beautiful people here on the flight. And, and you uh, enjoyed it? Very memorable? Yeah, very memorable. Yeah. I enjoyed a lot talking but, to them. And we all have the same love for living. And I hope we enjoy each other. And I don't want to say goodbye to all these people. I'll just say, I'll see you again. Okay, thank, thank you, Neil. Thank you very much, Paul.